Hi, and so now we talk about something critically important that I think is really basically misunderstood by most people. One of the problems in relationship is that we tend to take each other for granted, you know, because we've been together for so long, because we're so reliable, uh, because there's a high level of trust, because we know that our partner is the way they are, that, uh, you know, we tend to lean on that a little bit. So today's exercise called, is called looking at the emotional bank account. And what we want you to do is to treat your relationship like it was a financial bank account into which you made deposits and withdrawals. The idea here is what would happen to your balance over a period of time. And I know that for Mary and I, this balance has changed dramatically in terms of, you know, there's times when my account with her was pretty low and times when it's been pretty high. And, you know, that's fair enough. What we need to do is keep a bit of an eye on what it is that lifts the balance in that account. As we say in the text below, how is it that you can keep the balance or the deposits rising and the, and the withdrawals to a minimum? You know, I hope it doesn't happen to you, but, you know, seven years ago when I got diagnosed with terminal cancer, I needed massive amounts of support and I don't know that that support would have been there if I hadn't had done my bit first in terms of contributing to the relationship. And I think that, you know, whilst I drew massively on that support and I ended up in arrears and I, you know, when I recovered it was time for me to make up some lost ground, that could never have happened if we hadn't have been looking at how it is that we support each other uh, to get the best out of our relationship, to get the best out of our partner. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a Buddhist principle that says what I need diminishes me, but what I can give and how I look at you and what you need expands me. And so rather than what's going to make my partner in a relationship better for me because my partner satisfies my needs, how is it that I can have a focus on satisfying my partner's needs, fulfilling those, and therefore enabling my partner to be a better person, to, to live more truly to their own values so that I actually get, as my partner, someone whose life is really, really working, not just because they're working on it, but because of my contribution towards it. You know, it's true to say that I've got to find out what my partner wants, and then as long as it's within my values and my belief structures, make sure that where it involves me, that's what gets delivered. That's a big call and not many people are willing to make it because our culture has taught us that you know we need to focus on what we want. What I'm suggesting is that you can have everything that you want if you're prepared to give your partner everything that they want. It's not about loss, it's about giving and finding yourself in the process of giving. You know, what is there for you to learn in the giving process? I'm telling you, you'll be expanded, you'll be enriched, you'll be fulfilled. Give it a go.